So in this video, we're going through throwing the knee body hook, one of my favourite punches and combinations you can throw, especially against a slightly taller opponent. So don't underestimate the small angry ginger man. Right. With this, what you want, really want to try and do is get them to bring, lift their hands up ever so slightly so you can catch them with the body hooks. So if I'm throwing those punches and they're covering up tight, bang, 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 he's left all this exposed and open for me to come in with that body shot. Another way you can do is if I throw the head hook, if I throw the head hook and the hand comes up tight, boom, I can then come in and throw the body hook after. So if I've got head body again, the head, boom. Coming nice and tight to the body. Now, the difference between the body hook and the shovel hook, the shovel hook comes in from more an angle like that. If I go throw the cross at me slowly, if you go throw the cross and I've slipped out of the way, I come in like that as he's bringing his arm back, I try and catch it before he gets his arm back. If he's bringing his arm back low, so if you throw the cross and bring your arm back low, if I simply bring it back low, all I have to do is come up to the head. If he brings it back up high, because he brings it up high, that's where I know to go to the body. So that's when you're slipping across. So like I said, the angles are slightly different. You're just coming down, putting a little bit more weight on this leg, and then coming up, turning over, and it's almost up, not like an uppercut, you can throw the uppercut to the body, so it's not like the uppercut, it's more, of an angle, that's why they call it a shovel, because when you're doing that, when you're shoveling, it's more that sort of angle. That's why it's called a sho shovel hook. But the lead body hook, you can throw it up straight and just at that slight angle to really tear across your opponent and take the body out. So if he's got his hand up, like I said, now I'm striking, striking, striking. And I see that opening, I can come and really rip that body. Obviously, the DS brothers are really known for doing this well because what they do, they won't throw full power to the head, they just throw pity patters, pity patters to the head, not a lot of power. And then as their, their opponent's getting enough and getting jabbed in the face and keeps his arms up, that's when they come in and they rip full boom with that body shot and really give it some of that power to knock the wind out of them. So don't feel like you always have to have a slip go for the body shot. You don't have to boom, boom, slip in or throw the body shot. You can slip in and throw the body shot. You can even show the, throw the body shot from that far. You can even step in like that, bang, and catch him with the body shot. You could do it nice and close, catch him with the body shot. You can even slip in, boom, to the outside and catch him with the body shot. Slip in to the inside and catch him with the body shot. So just play about with it. There are so many different ways of doing it. There are, like a lot of people would never tell you to do that stepping from a distance with a body shot. But if you can put it off, if I'm fighting a taller opponent and I've got a wider stance anyway and I'm fighting that jab up to his head, there's no reason why I can't come in and dig that. As long as you're back up and you've got your, your mindset right, your hands right, if you know the blocks and you're confident at sparring anyway, and you're confident at doing these strikes, then practice the more unorthodox strikes. If you're a beginner, you don't want to be practicing that. You want to be practicing up tall, nice and tight. Remember to keep this hand up when you're throwing that hook. Don't drop the hand like a lot of people do. That's a big common mistake. A lot of people, when they want to drop to put more weight on this lead leg, to twist up, and hit with that strike, especially with the shovel hook after slipping, they slip and they drop that arm down and throw that strike. I've even noticed myself watching spine back footage of myself. I do do that a lot myself. I do drop that lead hand, like I'll get a bit carried away and I'll drop that, uh, sorry, not the lead hand, the rear hand was blocking my head. Obviously, you've got to drop the lead hand and throw the body shot. So, again, this is one way. One thing to think about, just keep your hands up. Make sure you set it up, you set it up with a jab, you set it up with a hook to the head, bring your arms up and then come with a hook to the body. You don't always have to fight as your last power punch, you can always throw it as a knee punch. You can come in, you can throw the body hook, boom, come in with a leg kick, boom, 
come in with a kick as well. That's the other thing, you can make angles off it. I spoke about this before with Harry, with the uh, uh, sorry, no, it worked with Harry, that was a Cadell punch. But anyway, uh, sorry, I've spoke about it before about taking angles off. You can take angles off with the, uh, with the hook. You can also do that, boom, with the body hook. Take the angle off and then come and move the kick. So it doesn't always have to be uh, like off your last like power strike. It can be the strike before and you can throw the cross in the body hook, you can throw the jab in the body hook. You just got to keep mixing it up, keep your opponent guessing. Or as well, obviously, you've got a rear body hook, but that's for a different video. So if you want to see then my other videos, what I'm going to make, make sure you hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up and me and Harry will see you again soon. Yeah, sorry.